This is the Earth Gospel for uh, for Monday of week four, morning prayer. After a few moments of reflection, we'll begin with Psalm 22. Yes, it was you who took me from the womb, entrusted me to my mother's breast. To you, I was committed from birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my God. And here's a hymn for today. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yielded and still. Thanks to the uh, choir of Champaign Church of Christ from Champaign, Illinois. And as a reminder, these readings and prayers are from the Earth Gospel by Sam Hamilton Poor. Please get yourself a copy of the book if you can. And now uh, Michaela is going to do the scripture reading for us. Yes. <clears throat> so this morning's scripture reading is Psalm 139, 13 through 18. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me when none of them at yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. I try to count them. They are more than the sand. 
I come to the end. I am still with you. Beautiful psalm, beautifully read. Another voice from John Calvin. When we examine the human body, even to the nails of our fingers, there's nothing which could be altered without felt inconveniency. Where is the embroiderer who, with all his industry and ingenuity, could execute the hundredth part of this complicated and diversified structure? We need not then wonder if God, who formed men and women so perfectly in the womb, should have an exact knowledge of him after he is ushered into the world. We'll take a, two minutes to reflect on these readings. As we move into prayer, we remember the people of Ukraine and Russia and pray for peace there and all of the places around the world where there's war. We pray for all those who've asked for our prayers and for those who need them. Go ahead, Judy. Uh, this prayer is by Janet Morley. God of wholeness, you have created us bodily that our work and faith may be one. May we offer our worship for lives of integrity and maintain the fabric of this world with hearts that are set on you. Through Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. And a blessing for today. The God who weaves the sun and the moon, the sky and the earth, is the very same God who knit you together in your mother's womb. The God who brings new stars to birth in far off galaxies is the same God who brought you to birth and placed you at your mother's breast. Enter this day with confidence, as surely as the sun, as certain as the moon, as solid as the earth, you have a place within God's unfolding grace. Amen. Thanks everybody for joining. And I hope you have a great day. Look forward to seeing uh, people who can make it tomorrow morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Take good care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Michael. Sure. Bye. <laughs>